plans. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and to his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endure to all generations. We thank you, O oh Lord, this morning for waking us up, O oh God, and our right minds, O oh God, and the mind that's set on you in the name of Jesus. But first of all, we'd like to be good for anything we said or done that was unpleasing, Lord, contrary to your will and your way, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we just ask that you come right now and suffer with us, O oh God, in this place, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We come in the name of Jesus because that's the only way to you, Father God. Lord God, we ask that you would put our minds, O oh God, and help us, O oh God, to the things day by day, O oh God, and lead and guide us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for our pastor, O oh God, that he's uh, setting his right mind, O oh God, to praise you and bless you and bring your word, O oh God, for your glory, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for our people, O oh God, our church families, O oh God, their families, O oh God, and our families that we're standing in the gap here on today for them, O oh God, that you will help them, O oh God, to see us in you, O oh God, that they will have a life change the spirit just by our life changing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you that you are helping us today, oh God. You are our helper and our keeper today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we depend and put all our trust in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we just thank you, oh God, for helping us, oh God. We thank you for keeping us most of all, oh God. Even though we go through the test and the trials of everyday life, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you that you always have open arms for us, oh God, and you never, never leave us or forsake us. We thank you for it, oh God. Even when we leave you, oh God, I'm from under your covering, oh God, you still stand in there waiting for us to come back. And we thank you on today, oh God. We thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we just here to bless your name, oh God. Give you all praise, honor, and the glory, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just thank you, oh God, that you give us a voice, oh God, that we raise our voice for you, oh God, like when something go wrong in our lives, oh God, we like to raise our voice and go at it in that way, but today, oh God, we raising our voice in Jesus' name, giving you all the praise, the honor, and the glory, so you can move on our behalf, oh God, that you will make the crooked ways straight, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for good health, oh God, we thank you for good health in our bodies, oh God. We thank you that no weapon, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we know that the weapon may form, but anything that's in you, oh God, it will not prosper, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we just thank you on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Don't nobody got to do nothing. The Lord will touch you. Glory. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Have your way in this place. Like never before. Yanda will go, Shadow will go. Go, 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 Yanda, the Bassi, Yanda, the Bahaya. Move in this place, God. Yoda will go, Yanda, the Bakas, Yoda will go, Yanda, the Bahaya. Like never, double coach. Never, double coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Serving God during the reigns of Jehoram, Jehu, 
uh, Joas and different people. And they said the scholars say he did his ministry about 50 years. Amen. Amen. But it says Elijah's work consisted of presenting the word of God through prophecy to advising kings, anointing kings, helping the needy, and perform several miracles. Amen. And that's how Amen. we're supposed to do. Amen. Yes. Whenever we be uh, people of God or whatever, we are supposed to impact governments. Amen. Amen. We're supposed to impact the, the systems of this world, yes. be it governmental systems, schools, mm -hmm. money, whatever. We got to pray for them people. Amen. 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 And that's what they was looking for, people who can say a word of the Lord to them. Amen. 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 And it says, uh, a note that I put a star by, it said, Elijah walked by Elisha and threw his cloak around him. Uh -huh. And it says, Elisha immediately recognized this was a call to ministry, leaving his family to follow Elijah. Amen. 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 So one day, Elijah was walking by and Elisha mm -hmm. was, you know, tending to the sheep. Mm -hmm. But Elijah put his cloak around him. Yeah. And he knew exactly that was a call to ministry. Amen. Amen. Positioning for purpose. Uh -huh. Now, I got a couple notes right here. It says, repositioning can be quite difficult, mm -hmm. but can yield great rewards if you stick to it. Amen. Because yeah. sometimes you don't want to change what you've been doing because you're so used to that thing. That's Amen. Right. But when you try to reposition, it can be quite difficult. But it's great rewards if you stick it out. Amen. amen. From moving from one place to another in a whole new direction. Amen. Not just for you, but for purpose. Come on, and man. our common purpose and our common cause is Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. The faith or Christianity, etc. Amen. amen. And no, it's not if you're scared, go to church. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Everybody be like, oh, you scared, go to church. That's what he said to me. Look, you scared, you go to church. No, I ain't scared, I go to church. Y'all remember when I talk about the light bulb come above yes. your head? Amen. amen. Now I know I have to reposition myself because I was headed for destruction and I yes. need guidance. Amen. amen. So that's amen. what people going to church for. They're not yes. going because they're scared. They know that if they keep going that way, it's going to lead to destruction. Amen. 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 And it says positioning for purpose. Amen. amen. Through repentance comes change. From change, you reposition yourself, mm -hmm. and from that position, you find purpose. Yes. Amen. And the Lord gave me that as I was in meditation. He was like, through repentance comes change. Yes. From change, you reposition yourselves, yes. and from that position, you find purpose. Amen. When you yes. get to your place of you know it's time to change, amen. Uh -huh. When you know it's time to change partners, uh -huh. you find yourself like, okay, since I changed, now what? Yeah. You know what I mean? Now that I changed, now what? Now what I'm supposed to do? Now you find your purpose through prayer, yeah. fasting, doing whatever you got to do, commune with the Lord to see what am I put on this earth for? Yeah. Amen. Yes. Positioning for purpose. Yes. Amen. Yes. It may be a calling, it may be an idea or whatever. It says you couldn't have it unless a change took place. Amen. Yes. I didn't know I was going to pass it, but through repentance. Reposition of myself, yeah, uh -huh. and now I found my purpose. Amen. 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 And your purpose will take you to another level in your life. You would never thought you would be there. Amen. Amen. We're going to come from 2 Kings 2 and 1. It's going to be talking about the prophets right here. That's in the Old Testament. Yeah, it's in the Old Testament. That's uh, after 1 Kings and before what? 1 Chronicles? 2 Kings 2 and 1. Positioning for purpose. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. When you get it, say amen, not proceed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, when the Lord, I'm reading out a new uh, international version, NIV. It says, when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, Elijah and Elijah were on their way to Gilgal. And Elijah mm -hmm. said to Elisha, stay here. The Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elisha said, as surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. Yeah. So they went down to Bethel. Then it says three, the company of the prophets at Bethel came to Elisha and asked, do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Now, previously, uh, when he knew that he had a, a call of ministry when Elijah put that cloak on him. He said, I'm, God, I'm not going to leave you because there's something from him that I need. Yeah. So he said, I'm going to never leave you, teacher or, or master. Or, you know what I mean? He said, I'll never leave you. So he already knew. He a prophet and all the other prophets know that he is about to be taken away. So yeah. here we go again. He said, yes, I know, Elijah replied, but do not speak of it. Sometimes you don't want to hear the truth. Amen. Yeah, don't yeah. speak of it. I know he's leaving. Don't, you know, the, uh, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to hear it. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to hear that. 
So he then Elijah <laughs> said to him, Stay here, Elijah. The Lord has sent me to Jericho. He said, As surely I replied, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Jericho. So he ain't leaving his side, amen? amen. Five. The company of prophet at Jericho went up to Elisha and asked, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, he replied. Uh -huh. But do not speak of it. Uh -huh. Six. It says, Then Elijah said to him, Stay here. The Lord has sent me to Jordan. <laughs> and he replied, As surely as the Lord lives and you live, I will not leave you. So the two of them walked on. Amen. amen. Seven. It says, Fifty men of the company of the prophets went and stood at a distance, facing the place where Elijah and Elisha had stopped at Jordan. Elijah took his cloak and rolled it up and struck the water with it. The water divided to the right and to the left, mm -hmm. and the two of them crossed over on dry land. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then it goes on and says, When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elijah, Tell me, what can I do for you before I am taken from you? Amen. Amen. And over here in 7, I was reading the uh, Bible dictionary. The Lord was speaking up so I could know what I had to do. Amen. Amen. So I could know how to act. Amen. Amen. Positioning for purpose. Amen. Amen. And it says 1 and 5. I'm just going to touch on this real quick. It says, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. All you got to do is ask God for wisdom in whatever you're going through. Amen. So as you wait and go, oh God, this is what I need. And then it says in 6, when you ask, believe and do not doubt. Amen. So when you wait now, you just got to believe. Like, Lord God, I am waiting on you. You know what I mean? Lord God, I am here. And it says, like Elisha, he said, when I leave, I want a double portion of what you got. Amen. Before he left, he said, what can I do for you? Amen. You know, that's what I teach. Whenever you change, the Lord going to ask you, what do you need? Yeah. Amen. And don't be bashful. You know what I mean? If you need it, ask for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you don't got to say, Lord God, this is what I need. I need some wisdom. Yeah. Amen. He says, but if you doubt, yeah. you just doubt. You, you doubt in God. Amen. Amen. Nothing is impossible with him. Amen. 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 It might be like, Lord God, I can't do this, but everything is possible with the Lord. Yeah. Positioning for purpose. Amen. Yeah. Now we're going to jump to... Uh, 13 and 17 real quick. And it says, When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. 14. But each one is tempted by his own evil desire. He is dragged away and enticed. 17. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is fulfilled, gives birth to death. 16. Don't be deceived, my dear brothers. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heaven of life, who does not change like the shifting shadows. Amen. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be kind of his first fruits that all he had prayed, created. Amen. So right here talking about every good thing comes from the Lord. Amen. That's why I say whatever you get, you can dedicate it back to God. Amen. Whatever he gives you, you know it's a good thing. Yeah. Like, Lord God, I thank you for this. You know what I mean? God gave it back. Like when he gave us money, you know what I mean? That's when we pay our tithes. Give him ten percent or whatever. Sow seeds to somebody. Amen. Because we give it right back to him. It's a good thing. Amen. Yeah. Anything you get for the Lord is good. Yeah. This says eighteen. Birthing from the word. Amen. So right now, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be born again through the word of God. Yeah. We are positioning for purpose from the words that we hear so we can reposition ourselves. Yeah. Amen. And I wrote this down too. It says, born again, repositioned, yeah. repented, refocused, refined, redeemed. Amen. We recognize that if it not been for God, where would we be? You know what I mean? Yeah. Where would we be right now? Yeah. If it wasn't for him, how would we get to this place? Amen. Yeah. Since we are this place now waiting on him, now we in position. If it wasn't for you, Lord God, all them years yeah. back, get my mind together, where would I be? Yeah. Amen. Where would I be right now? If you yeah. think about it, you know, some people say, jail or hell. Yeah. And that's real. Amen. You only got two choices, the right or the left. You know what I mean? What you going to do? Who God you going to serve? Amen. And it says, but since we changed partners, now we can see we good. Amen. And we actually went through the test. Amen. And now we here. Amen. We are here. 19 and 21, it says, my dear brothers, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen and slow to speak. And it says, and to slow to become angry. Amen. For man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. Amen. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and evil that is
is so prevalent and humbly accepted the word that's planted in you, which can save you. Amen. Amen. Then it says, do not merely listen to the word and deceive yourselves, but do what it says. Amen. Amen. So basically that says, be a doer of the word. Amen. Amen. If you're hearing something, you got to be a doer of it. Amen. Amen. Because you got to apply the word. Yes. Apply it. Then it says that all of these changes and reposition is all for purpose. Yes. To spread the gospel. Amen. To heal Amen. the sick. Help the needy, amen. Get people saved. Amen. And while we're doing that, we are being his children. Amen. amen. We are repositioned amen. for purpose. We are his children. Amen. Now we're going to talk about back to Elijah again. Amen. amen. It says he was so pleased with him that he was so consistent in affection and attendance. Amen. He bade him and he said, what can I do for you? Amen. amen. When you get to that place and God knows that you are consistent, he knows that your uh, attendance uh, attention span is on him. He asked me, what can I do for you? Amen. Amen. He said he could have asked for anything, but he asked for wisdom. Amen. Amen. He asked for a double portion. Amen. Amen. And in Matthew Henry, it says, Christ bade his disciples and promised him to send the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Some of us just need the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Some of us just need something to, to lead us on to the next direction. Amen. 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 To get us to the next level. Now we're going to jump to uh, the Old Testament one more time. We're going to be in 2 Chronicles 1, 7 through 12. Positioning for purpose. Amen. Sometimes when he asks you what you want, you got to be careful what you're asking for. Because you just might get it. 2 <laughs> Chronicles 1, 7 through 12. You just might get it. What can I do for you? Amen. Positioning for purpose. Right here, we're going to talk about Solomon real briefly. Solomon was the, the son of David. He was a king as well. He was one of the wisest kings and one of the richest kings. Amen. Amen. But this is what he had did right here. Second Chronicles 1, 7 through 12. Y'all got it? It says, that night God appeared to Solomon. He asked him, ask for whatever you want me to give you. See how God does that from everybody. He asks everybody. He says, what do you need? <laughs> hey, it says, Solomon answered, you have shown great kindness to David, my father, and said, you have made me king in this place. Now, Lord, let your promise to my father, David, be confirmed. It says, for you have made me king over a people who are as numerous as the dust of the earth. It says, give me wisdom and knowledge yes. that I may lead these people. And it says, lead this people. And it says, for who is able to govern this great people of yours. Amen. Right there, he asked for wisdom and knowledge. Amen. Yes, yes. Wisdom and knowledge. 11. And it says, God said to Solomon, since this is your heart's desire, and you have not asked me for wealth, riches, and honor, nor death of your enemies. And it says, since you have not asked for a long life, but for wisdom and knowledge to govern my people over whom I have made you king. 12. Check this out, y'all. Therefore, wisdom and knowledge will be given you. And yes. I will also give you wealth, riches, Honor, amen, yes. such as no king who was before you have ever had before, amen. So basically yes. what he's saying is since you didn't ask for all these riches, Come since on, you didn't man. ask for a bigger kingdom, yes. since you didn't ask for me to kill all your enemies, on, I'm going to give you exactly what you asked for, but I'm going to give you what you didn't yes. ask for, amen, because yes. I know what your heart desires, amen. Yes. So when you ask, Lord, Lord God, give me wisdom right now. I'm in position. Give me wisdom right now, Lord God. This is all I want. He's like, oh, that's all you want? But I know what your heart wants. Amen. I know what you need. Hallelujah. You my child. So since you asked for that, I'm going to give you this, that, and the other. Amen. So now you can walk in wisdom. You can walk in knowledge. Glory to God. And now you can walk with the comfort in your mind that I got everything that I need. Amen. I got the rate, the riches. I got the wealth. I got all these things. So now I'm really walking in power. Now I'm positioning for purpose. And now I can help the need. Amen. Yeah. Now I can go around and preach the gospel. Amen. I'm not worried about nothing because he got me choking together because I repented, I changed, I repositioned myself. Now I'm in position. He said, what you need? I said, give me some wisdom and knowledge and understanding. He said, well, since you didn't ask for no money, since you didn't ask for another house, another car. Amen. Just like the song. Amen. I need more. Amen. I need more of you, God. And I know since I'm getting more of you, everything gets you is abundance. Amen. So he made him the most greatest king of all. Yes. 
Thank when you. they would talk about Sodom, like, man, you know, Sodom, he in town. You know, yeah. when he come in, his whole stuff is gold. You yeah. know what I mean? Everything he got is gold. But not only that, he has wisdom. Yeah. Amen. He was wise. Amen. He was wise. Amen. Because he said, Lord God, this is what I want. You put me in charge of these things. Just give me wisdom, yes, God. knowledge, yes, God. and understanding. And then he yes. said, and I will also give you wealth, yes. riches, and honor. Yes. Amen. Yes. Wealth, wealth is when someone doesn't have to work. Amen. Yes. You just got that. And he said riches. Now you got bands. Like I said bands yes. on top of bands. Amen. Yes. It says honor. People will honor you. Yes. Amen. Honor you. You know what I mean? Some people got self-esteem issues. You know what I mean? Never been honored. Always been talked about. Some people always been broke. Amen. Some people always been living, uh, what's that, check to check. Amen. But he said, what can I do for you? Lord God, don't give me no more money. You know what I mean? Because that's not going to save me. Lord God, give me some wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. So I can know my purpose. Amen. So what's the point of you having wealth, riches, and all this, but you dumb? Amen. What's the point of that? You know what I mean? What's the point of you having all those things, but if somebody say one thing, like I say, hearing different things being tossed to and fro like the wind, amen. What's the point of that if you can't focus on what you got to do? Amen. Being patient, amen. It says, let patience have its perfect work, entire lacking nothing. Then he asked him, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? So when you get to that place of being positioned for purpose, he said, what can I do for you? Give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. Give me all that so I know. It's like a trick question. What you want? I don't want nothing over wisdom. <laughs> you know what I mean? I already know you're going to bless me. You know what I mean? He asked me what you want. I want wisdom, knowledge, understanding. You know what I mean? Because I already know what come with God. Amen. He overflows your cup. Amen. He overflows it. All you got to do is be positioned with your cup. Amen. You got to come with your cup like this. Lord God, I'm here. Amen. What you want? Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And laugh. You know what I mean? Try to hold it back. I want wisdom, knowledge, understanding. He's going to give you that. Then he's going to overflow. Amen. You didn't ask for that, my son, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. I already know the last 10 years you done went through hell, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. I know you done sold your seeds, but now your harvest is coming, amen. I know you done been through that hell, but I'm going to bless you anyway, man, because you didn't even try to take advantage of me. Amen. Some people just want to go to God for a quick fix, amen. But we know we got to wait. They say it builds perfect perseverance. We know it, it builds character, amen. Integrity. We can walk in integrity. Could nobody trust you no more, you know what I mean? But now, since you changed, now everybody coming to you. Now you got honor. Now they're coming to you. Hey, what can I do in this situation? You're giving them words of the Lord. Amen. Being hearers. Amen. And we doing it. Doing the word. It says the light of kings, governments, and he helped the need. That's outreach. Then they even talked about how he even had a house up in the hood. You know what I mean? He had. A, he was able to be touched and all that. But he was very known. He went all over the whole cities. Prophesying, laying hands on the kings and all of this. Because he asked for something. He asked for a double portion of a life. He said, if you see me when I go up, you're going to get what you asked for. Amen. So he was in position. So he didn't let a day go by. He said, well, I got to go to Bethel. I'm going with you. I'm not leaving. You know what I mean? He said, I got to go. How many annuals do you need for your flower bed this year? Uh, uh, you don't know. Milo's tracks and stores all of your Lowe's purchases, so you don't have to remember. I think I would use that. We scan Milo's Remembers. Your life gets easier. Sign up at Lowe's. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm taking it first up. To become a number. Then that's this break off. Jericho. I'm going with you. And then people are, you know your master going to be leaving. Uh -huh. yeah. Don't even, I don't want to hear that. Come on now. Yeah. So when he was with him, all of a sudden, boom, gold chariots, yeah. fire coming, boom, took him. He just like, oh, master. Uh -huh. That cloak fell down. Yeah. You know what I mean? The cloak that he already put around him. Amen. Yeah. He got a double portion of it. Amen. Yeah. But he was in position. Now he's doing the same thing that Elijah did, but now he's doing it on a bigger scale. It says when, when Christ died, he said, greater works you shall do. Amen. They didn't have a Facebook. They didn't have a MySpace, all those things back in the day. Now we got to use those things to communicate the gospel. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody just need to hear that thing right at that point in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everything has time and season. Like I pulled up on White Brother Day. I said, all right, I'm going to meet you at the grandma house. I pulled up right where she was at. I didn't talk to her nothing. I'm like, hey, man. You know what I mean? But it was a divine point right there. Hey, Amen. Whenever, I mean, sometimes you got to look at it like, man. It's quite funny. I seen him right there. Right. You know what I mean? We met right there. You know what I mean? With no talking. Destiny. We got to make sure that we find destiny, but we got to be in position for it. Yeah. Amen. Position yeah. for purpose. Yeah. And he said, Solomon, what do you need? He said, wisdom. He said, instead of riches, he said, but you're going to gain riches. Amen. But with wisdom, you can help those who don't know how to use Riches wisely. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you can help people with their finances. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. What you got going on? Okay, this is what you need to do. You need to apply this. You need to apply this. You need to yeah. do this. You need to, yeah. So you can help people to get out of that thing they was in. Amen. Yeah. Position for purpose. Because yeah. the Lord want to use you. Yeah. Amen. As a beacon of life. Yeah. Amen. You ain't got to be all, you know, don't touch me. You know what I mean? I ain't on none of that. You know what I mean? It says the light show was so cool. He was kicking it with the peasants. Kicking it with the people who didn't have no money. Kicking it with the people who was cool. You know what I mean? Kicking it with the sinners and all that. He's talking about what y'all need. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they tell him, we need such and such. We need rich. Somebody ain't. Ain't to that point are you just asking for wisdom yet. They ask, well, I need my bills paid. And you're going to get exactly what you want. You know what I mean? You're going to get that one bill paid, then you're going to get through. Ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. Oh, man, I need this gas bill paid. Okay, now it's paid. Now what about next time? We got to get ready for the next time. Amen. But if you're in position, you ain't got to worry about it. Since you didn't ask for this, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this. And I'm going to give you this. And our mission is to spread the gospel through all of it. Amen. 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 You need some? What you need? You know what I mean? So when everybody, hey, what you need? I need wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know what I mean? Then just commune with the Lord. Just commune with him. Lord God, I need this. I want more. I don't want another house. I don't want another car. I don't want that. I want more of you. Amen. And that's all we got to do. Lord God, give me more. Give me your spirit. Amen. Give me a double portion. Amen. Give it to me, Lord. And it says, let patience have its perfect work. We got to get back to that. Sometimes we want it now. It ain't going to come right now. Amen. So as you waiting, just wait patiently. Yeah. Just wait, pay, Lord God, I'm here. You know what I mean? Hey, your cup, just wait. Lord God, I'm right here waiting on time to switch, Lord. I'm, I'm waiting, Lord. You know what I mean? Somebody had to hold your arm up, you know what I mean? After a while, you get creative, put the cup on your head, you know what I mean? Like, hey, I'm up here. You know what I mean? Sure, put it on your shoulder, you know what I mean? You got to wait on it. Lord God, when when He comes, say, Lord God, I thank you for what you gave me. Thank you for what I got. I'm being like I said, we're being faithful over a few things, so He can make you rulers over much. Hey, and if we run this thing right, we can be ruling over stuff and ain't even gonna ask for. Lord God, just give me wisdom over my few things, so when I get much, I know how to. You know what I mean? Walking, walking purpose, Amen. Positioning for purpose. I'm gonna read that quote that the Lord gave you real quick. I was like, Lord, that's that's good. It says, through repentance comes change. From change, you reposition yourself, and from that position, you find purpose. Amen. And all you gotta do when you get and find your purpose, work it. Be you. Be you. You know what I mean? I ain't changing nothing about me. I'm being me because. I won't be such effective as I am if I change. You know what I mean? You can't do what you're supposed to do if you're being somebody else. So you got to be comfortable in your own skin. You got to see, okay, all right, what I got to do to do this? How can I communicate that? You know what I mean? How can I be me but still be effective? Just be you. Ask God, I need wisdom and understanding. You know what I mean? He said, well, since you didn't ask, uh, ask for this, I'm going to help you out. I know you can't read all the time, but here you go. Uh-huh. You know what I yes. mean? I know yes. you be fumbling on your words, but here you go. Yes. You know what I mean? I know you might not have a college degree, but uh-huh. here you go. Yes. You know what I yes. mean? I know you might just be, you know, low income, but here you go. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I know yes. you might not have all of this, but here you go. Uh-huh. Yes. It don't matter what you got. As long as you say, Lord God, help me yes. with whatever you give me. Amen. Yes. He said, anything you get from the Lord is good. Yes. Every day, I'm like, Lord God. I come in the shop, you know what I mean? Lord God, I thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah. I thank you, Lord. 
Lord God. You know what I mean? Lord God, my appointment ain't right on time, but I thank you. Amen. Then I'm going to walk in. It's going to be cut. You know what I mean? He gives you increase. He gives you what you need. Amen. And it says, he gives seed to the sower. Amen. And he's going to give you something so you can sow. Then he also says, this, they never beg for bread. Amen. They never beg for bread. They never beg. You ain't got to beg when you got a big God. Amen. You just go to him, Daddy God, this is what I need. Amen. I know you know this, Lord. I need you. Yes. It's like smoking throat. Well, I need you now. Amen. Yes. Yes. So we got to get to the point where we know how to talk oh, to God. Yes. Yes. We know how to talk to God in every circumstance. Amen. And don't Amen. be scared to ask him Amen. anything. He says, ask and it shall be given. Yes. Amen. Amen. Knock and the door shall be open. Yes. You know what I mean? All we got to do is be ready yes. at your cup. Lord God, I'm hurt. Yes, I'm repositioning so myself. Yes, you know what I mean? Sometimes, like I say, it can be difficult. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? But yes. it yields great rewards yes. if you stick it out. Yes. I'm telling you, you got to stick it out. Amen. Yes. From moving from one thing to another, uh -huh. it's difficult. Yes, it is. But when you find out that now you're pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, now you're on a different thing. Yes. Now you see stuff different. You know what I mean? Yes. You just yes. look like, okay. Yes. This is what I got to do. I, I'm, I'm this way. You know what I mean? I hear all this commotion, but I got to go this way. You know what I mean? Because I can see that's where he's going to pour and make my cup overflow. But I got to get there. I ain't going to let nothing stop me. I got to get there. Amen. He said, I'm going to be leaving, but if you hear it, you're going to receive it. Amen. Everybody said, you know your master leaving. I don't want to hear that. I got to get there. Amen. I got to get to that point to where when he leaves, I'm going to receive it. Amen. Y'all talking to me about he leaving. Y'all ain't even thinking about it. Amen. Y'all should have been going where he going. Amen. I got to go this way. I ain't let nobody talk. Uh -uh. I'm straight ahead. Yeah. Oh man, okay, I hear you. I know it. I know the circumstance, but I don't care what it's saying. Amen. I know what you said, but I got to get someplace. I'm positioning for purpose. Amen. And when you get there, just have your cup open, have your heart open. Amen. It says he cannot feel old, I mean, he cannot feel an old wine skin with new wine. So that means you got to get everything that's out of you yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can receive something new. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever you get there, the 10 years it took me to come be a pastor, I wasn't even looking for it, but I'm just looking at it like, man, he was getting me ready for this. Amen. He was getting me anything he does, he gets you ready for it. You know, he's a progressive guy. Amen.